Well, it's Thursday. That means the newest edition of Florida Weekly is out. We're joined now by Eric Raditz. Eric, thank you for joining us. Nate, how's it going? Something caught my attention on the front page yeah, of the newest I, edition. Yeah, I can't stop staring at this. This uh, Your front page has this giant python on it. it that's massive. Yes, so yeah. the question is, how do you feel about snakes? I don't, I don't like this. Uh, don't like them don't at all. Don't like them at all? <laughs> well, there's Tell me some good news. Well, yeah. there's many around Southwest Florida who keep them as pets, and we have different kinds. Some are lovable and small, and some grow to be 17 foot large and larger. Uh, we find out that we're hearing that they're moving their way from the Everglades because kind of a lack of food and they're moving their way heading up towards us, towards Southwest Florida. Uh, so we get to the bottom of what's being done about it. One thing, there's a state commissioned posse of snake hunters who are bringing them down. As you can see on this cover, that's Dusty Wildman Crumb and he's standing proudly with his catch. He gets paid uh, to take them down and if you just watch how he does it, it is amazing. But you grab the snake by the tail not, not encouraging anyone at home yeah, to try don't, the, don't try don't this try at home. At home. <laughs> <laughs> but then he just wiggles them around for like 10 or 15 minutes. He tires them down, then he jumps on his head. And uh, anyway. 10 to 15 minutes? Yeah. To oh, wow. To, a long time to, to, yeah, to wear them out. To wear <laughs> yeah. a, 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 that's a healthy Burmese python, yeah. I think. Oh, wow. Well, not everybody can be snake hunters. I know I can't be. No. For companies that are looking to hire people, you have some new techniques where they can attract and also keep those employees. Right, so what's the most important thing uh, on the job? And some would say, of course, it's salary, of course, but also uh, what we're hearing and what we all know to be true is company culture, right? So we get to the bottom of how some smart company owners in town approach attracting and retaining exceptional workers, uh, not just not just by paying, but by creating the right culture where they're appreciated, they're motivated, they're treated very professionally, and they have room for growth, they feel satisfaction with the job well done. Uh, it's a great read for those who want to keep a positive company culture. Okay, and for your arts and entertainment section, usually you have a lot of great, you know, beautiful visuals, but when I looked at it this week, I, I saw just, you know, red and blue, they say arts and sports, which I'm thinking back to high school, like most people don't associate those two together, they're two separate things, so what's what's going on here? Well, one thing, the Alliance for the Arts of Kevin Hurt uh, have this new exhibit, and this exhibit actually explores uh, sports in our culture and our history, but it's, at, it's, a, it's an alliance exhibit, so it's an arts exhibit, and we thought the exact same thing, Amanda, so that's why we sent out uh, two reporters on this. We sent out our arts writer, Writer, Nancy Stetson and our sports uh, writer contributor Glenn Miller uh, and we wanted to see them what they thought about this exhibit from two different points of view from an arts point of view and from a sports point of view and you'll be surprised to find out what they came up with. Well really for intrigued. people who like other stuff not just sports movies <laughs> and you know there, there's some live theater in your top picks that you recommend. Right so if you're not sure what to do in town yet summer there's a little bit less to do but there's still plenty to do Florida Weekly has top picks. This week we can we let you know that in town we have Sinbad uh, the Comedian, Alpha Comedy, Annie at the Broadway Palm Dinner Theater, there's a couple of them, Chicago by the Naples Players, uh, Cirque du Soleil has a show at Germain Arena, and much, much more. If you're looking to get out or take a friend out to do something fun or to meet new friends, there's no excuse, there's plenty to do in our Top Picks Arts Entertainment Calendar section at Florida Weekly online on stands on your device and it is free and it's free like the and best it, i do want to mention something and actually twice now each of these past few weeks i've actually gone through and clipped it out it's not in this paper right now but you guys are doing a pet photo contest tell thank, me about that thank you for reminding me of that so every year we do our annual pets lovers edition so if you have a picture of you of your pet excuse me and you want to send it to us <laughs> go on our facebook page florida weekly's facebook page you have till sunday at midnight i think want to i hope i'm right say let's say Saturday midnight yeah. to submit your, and then in two weeks you're gonna see uh, the Pet Lovers issue, all the pet photos from around uh, around town. So submit yours now, and I know you have one. I've got I a couple I'm still thinking <laughs> about. Are you gonna submit Ivy's picture? I'm working on it, I haven't found the right one, but you did mention that there are some prizes involved for the top ones. There right? are, and and, I'm, and I don't know, there's a set, some hundred dollar amount of uh, yeah. pet gift certificate that you get for Which the winners. you need that for your pet, everyone needs that. Everyone needs that. You need so pet really, supplies. Everybody wins, if we all get to see these awesome pictures, yes. you get to come on the show and talk about <laughs> it. That's I meant to say, Nate. You're writing <laughs> so, my script yeah. next time. We definitely look forward to it. Thank you very much Thanks, for joining Nate. us. Thanks, See you next Amanda. week. Thanks, Eric. That's good.